Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and I hope everyone is well today. This is going to be a reading on um, Doreen Virtue. That's a psychic reading on her. This has been requested by some viewers uh, on my channel, some of my family on my channel, uh, wanting to know what has happened with Doreen Virtue. What has caused her to, for those of you that don't know, um, to give you a little bit of a backstory, um, for those of you who may not have any clue who she is, um, Doreen Virtue is someone who was considered a spiritualist uh, at one time in her career or in her life. And she was the author of some um, some books, uh, angel certifications online, teaching people how to read angel cards. She partnered with Hay House. She was like a spokesperson, uh, a very prominent brand uh, for Hay House with her oracle cards, um, and um, she had all kinds of oracle cards, angel cards, uh, ascendant master cards, uh, archangels, uh, you know, cards, and just going on and on. She partnered with um, Mr. Valentine and among some other, you know, uh, prominent figures in the Hay House community. Hay House, again, is a publishing company, and they... Um, are based off of you know uh spirituality and they have like different psychic mediums uh or spiritualist authors um who write you know and etc and do all these things well a couple about a, two years ago or so um doreen came out and started denouncing all her previous work um for those of you that are not aware so um she was partnered with hay house i believe there were some contractual obligations and so she decided to have her name taken off of a lot of those cards that had to pertain uh, that pertain to ascendant masters, um, and basically all her her previous work. She kind of denounced that in many ways, and she denounced uh, a lot of the spiritual community for practicing quote unquote new age practices. Um, and it, it came to as a shock of betrayal to a lot of people that are psychic mediums in the spiritual community, people that held her in a very high pedestal or held her at a high regard because, again, this woman was someone who was, you know, very much passionate about spiritual spirituality and new age practices and, um, you know, gave, uh, she did work hard. I, I feel like she did, you know, work hard to push the um, her spirituality um, agenda. And that's what I'm gonna call it, an agenda. So there's questions regarding, you know, what happened to Doreen? What made her change? And she, she, um, she eventually, after denouncing, she came out and said she was a, you know, reborn again Christian. She was saved. She was someone that, um, just you know didn't believe in that but yet she continued to sell cards of jesus and mary um because she hadn't been told otherwise that that was wrong you know there's nothing in the in the bible that says that that's wrong according to her so she um it's a double standard when i'm talking about it it's just um i'm going to be as respectful as i can because unlike you know a lot of uh, my colleagues out there who have a personal opinion about her i'm not here to bash doreen i did um I was gifted a part um one of her decks at one time when I was going through the hurricane and they did come you know it did help me uh find some peace um using her decks and uh, well, her deck uh for my own personal use um not for private readings but yeah this is this is uh, uh going to be a little difficult you know for a lot of you out there you're going to feel very passionate so i do ask that you stay very respectful in the comment section below even if you know you have your own opinion you know please don't you know bash doreen i'm not defending you know her or taking a side but i do understand um what is going on here and i hope to kind of uncover a little bit of this what would be going on i'm going to go into the next slide so i can get into um what what happened so you can see here now part of me being a psychic medium and reading people is also educating um and being like a spiritual teacher so that people so that y'all my family out there on youtube that are listening to this can kind of understand from a psychic medium's perspective what i do and what some of my colleagues do and how we read 
energy and souls. So I always stress that I, when I read a person, I need a photograph. I just need a photograph of them. It doesn't matter if it's recent. I prefer recent because the energy is more recent it tied to that person on that most recent photograph. But if it's an older photograph, that's fine too. I'm going to start from left to right at the upper left hand corner when she was blonde hair. That was several years ago and her evolution going from left to right and then down left to right. So on the very first picture on the very top, look at her eyes um, and her third eye, but look at her, her eyes mainly. There was uh, an aura there that was very prominent. There was a lot of light around her, not just because the way the photograph was captured, but this again was her essence. It was a very gentle type of aura. This is when she first kind of, you know, was very at the peak of her career. Um, she had a lot of angels around her protecting her. Uh, if you go into the second picture here on the upper right hand corner, uh, that is more, you know, a little bit more recent uh, before denouncing, you know, um, all of her work, etc. She still kind of had that aura, but she she evolved. You know, we all evolve. She changed her hair color, obviously. Um, she looks a little different, you know, around the eyes. Uh, but if you look at her eyes, she still has kind of some light in there. Now look at the very bottom left hand corner. Do you see her eye color? Do you, I don't know if you can see that, but there's definitely some changes here between the people on the very top to the very bottom. Okay. So if you look at her eyes, it's almost like a darkness in there. I don't know if uh, it's, you know, people would say it could be the camera they wasn't capturing with a bright light to hit her eyes. I see something differently from a spiritual perspective. When I look at this, I see um, a very different type of aura, a very dark, which tells me that she was going through something very dark in that era, area. This is closer to her to, I believe, denouncing um, the work. I believe this is somewhere around there where she was denouncing or getting close to it. And now this is the most recent photograph of Doreen on the bottom right hand corner. And if you look at her eyes there, she kind of has some light still in her eyes, uh, a lot different than before. A little, a lot, a way, I would say a way, a lot more different, completely different um, than the, the, the ladies, uh, you know, on the top, which are her. You know, people are going to say, well, Raymond, obviously she doesn't have makeup. She doesn't have her eyelashes, you know. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the eyes and the aura around her and her, her energy. A completely different person. Completely. So what happened? What caused her to, um, to change? Well, you have to understand she's a mult, a millionaire. She was a multi-millionaire or millionaire through her empire that she built with, um, you know, with her teachings and her um, certifications, angel certifications and her cards that she would sell and all the, you know, the merchandise that she would sell uh, through Hay House. So she has, she had a lot of money. And even though she was charitable and she gave a lot of that money away to people and helped, you know, certain people to a certain point when you do get that popular and you're kind of well known in the spiritual community, it can cause your ego to kind of uh, elevate to an unhealthy place. When that happens, some people can become spiritually unprotected and open doors to things that, um, that are not healthy. I really do feel like she is going to eventually come out and talk about this. I don't feel like she's talking about it now. People just don't change from overnight, you know, years of, you know, having that they're just saved all of a sudden, unless something prompts it. So what I get from my spirit guides is that she was battling something. Was she possessed? Very possible by something demonic, something very, very dark. Um, and what happens is that if you're very spiritual, it doesn't matter if you're very spiritual, you, if there is something demonic, it can uh, affect you in some kind of way, regardless of how strong you are and how protected you are. Uh, because again, this is a supernatural force and we are only spiritual beings living in a human body so we're more susceptible if we were in spirit it's not the same demonic doesn't have the same control over spirits um that you know are were once human living because they're are no longer in a corporal form they're in spiritual form so 
there is a certain level of control, but not the same as uh, a human being taken over by um, by something dark. And when I see typically, you know, um, cases of people being demonically possessed or oppressed or having something that is walking in them or constantly attaching themselves to them. Um, I will see like on the bottom left hand corner where she's holding the card up, you will see her eyes. Uh, you will see that person's eyes change to a very darker color. So it's like, you know, even if their natural color was like a bright green or a hazel or even a, a bright blue, um, when a person is uh, possessed or demonically oppressed their um, eye color changes to a darker color uh, and that is part of possession and again people listening to me out there may not agree again this is what I'm getting from spirit and um, it's not too far from the truth I can tell you that um, and I do feel like she did have to go through some struggles and uh, align herself with some some source in this case would have been religion to expel that from her life because i do believe that ultimately she was you know in that dark phase she was possibly possessed i'm not saying that she was or she wasn't but that's kind of the energy that i am getting and she came out this is the most recent as you can see out of it totally changed so a lot of people are bashing her thinking that maybe she had a hidden agenda or you know, she was, you know, uh, she's turned her back because of that. But when people go through a traumatic ex experience like a possession, it changes some people forever. And they don't want to open those doors again to, um, you know, uh, to the spiritual world. So they will turn and go back to their roots, which is religion, because I believe she was religious before becoming spiritual. So she just went back to her roots. Am I going to sit here and bash the woman because she is a Christian now? No, because I, as a spiritual person, am, am very accepting of her beliefs. And, you know, I'm, I don't condone what she's doing. Um, she recently posted a blog or something on her website denouncing all kinds of new age practices. And she goes line by line, like A to Z um, about this. And, and I don't condone that. I don't feel that that's right, that she should be judging other people. But again, this is what Doreen is, where she is at now. And again, I'm not going to follow her, you know, her teachings anymore, because obviously there is some, some, um, some pain among the spiritual community. And I've never been a follower, you know, really of anyone. I'm not going to follow you know, but I'm talking, I'm using that as a, an example for those of you that have been supporters of Doreen and that continue maybe to support her and that are listening to this, you know, um, it to each its own. I'm very open to people, you know, if they're, if religion is your thing, uh, that's fine. You know, there's a lot of fear when it comes to religion though. And that's something that I, you know, I just don't agree with the fear-based teaching. Jesus was a medium in many ways. He was able to connect to his father, God, to spirit. Uh, there's a lot of debate whether that, you know, people would believe that or not. But again, God wasn't uh, in a human form. He was in spirit and Jesus spoke to him. So this is where I feel like, you know, the worlds of the Christianity or religion and spirituality become blurred. And it's almost like a universal type of um, language because, again, spirituality is universal. I believe in Jesus still, Jesus Christ. I believe in God. I believe in the Virgin Mary. I've seen the Blessed Mother two times in my life. She's appeared to me. So I'm not someone that can sit here and, and judge Doreen for um, who she is or what is going on with her uh, right now. But I will be giving you some insights as to what I see for her since this is a psychic reading uh, as well. And that's what I've been giving you snippets as to what I see that has happened to her, to her, why she has changed. I feel like she doesn't want to come out and talk about this, but she will eventually kind of talk about it so that people can understand. I, she's being judged kind of unfairly. And I know that some people listening to me will be saying, you know, well, Raymond, you know, you're kind of like defending her. And I'm not defending her. I'm not taking sides, but I see it from a, a spiritual perspective and understand from my spirit guides that she did have a, a strong level of fear and fear changes a person. It changes you completely. So if now that is her path, you know, I support her 
and her her decisions to you know stay in Christianity uh, or in her religion. I don't support her denouncing and and uh, hurting us in the spiritual community for our own beliefs. I recently went through an experience with this with someone, um, and they believed you know they were doing some white magic, which was uh, candle spells and whatnot, um, and um, you know they uh, felt like it was you know. Uh, destroying their life uh, and again their parent um, their you know their family was very is very religious so they went back and reverted back to that and kind of tried to tell me that what I was doing you know as a psychic medium was wrong too but they've kind of pulled away from me and you know there's nothing that I can do to stop them uh, I'm not here to you know change anyone or to coerce someone into believing what I believe I teach what I teach and it's up to you ultimately to um, you know if you want to listen to it that's fine or follow it that that's fine too but ultimately um, the you know in spirituality there is a divine path and we have to be accepting of our brothers and sisters out there regardless of their spiritual preference or their uh, you know religious preference because again uh, I do firmly believe that we're all interconnected and there's nothing that, that separates us except for fear and that I feel like is what is kind of you know um, where Doreen is at right now where there's a lot of fear and she hasn't spoken a lot about this but eventually will I do feel like she will address it um, I do pick up some health issues with her and again I'm not um, diagnosing because I'm not a doctor but this is what I get intuitively from spirit I do feel like she does have some some issues possibly with her thyroid at at some point um, I do feel like it's hormonal and it is causing some weight gain it is causing her to uh, have some migraines and there's a feeling of like um, a lot of pain in her body so she could have the onset of fibromyalgia um, again she's going through some physical changes and she is at that age where it's typical you know of someone um, around her age to to go through it sometimes not every female goes through this but for her in particular that's what I get um, I do feel like she is kind of, you know, hurt by a lot of people. She is receiving a lot of hate from people that are in the spiritual community. And if you're truly spiritual, you know, you won't attack someone necessarily because they're attacking you. You understand that that is just their perception uh, and that's their, you know, their way of thinking. And whether it's ignorant or it's, you know, it's... Uh, ridiculous that that's not for us to judge as spiritual people but to be accepting and kind of you know just let things go and I think a lot of people are you know she's at a point where she's fighting a lot of uh, energies that are coming towards her so it's like psychic attacks if you're attacking Doreen and you're sending psychic attacks towards her then you know you're you really are not practicing true spirituality in some ways because again that's not what we're meant to do uh, in spirituality we're kind of meant to just love one another and that if you're coming from an angry place because of what she's saying then you are not coming from a place of love and to me God is love um, the universe is love and again uh, I see her going through a lot of changes um, will she ever come back to spirituality in in that realm full circle um, it's hard to say I feel like a part of her still is struggling internally with she wants to come back to her roots in some ways even though she does say that she denounces this you know I feel like there's this internal struggle with her but ultimately I see her staying more in the Christian you know where she is right now in religion um, in her teachings um, there is some sadness there is some sorrow ahead for her when it comes to a relationship so I do feel like with the relationship that she's in could eventually dissolve or there could be problems around that that will actually propel her back to the world of spirituality however I don't feel like if she was to go back to spirituality into the the, the spiritual world she would really would be open 
uh, re would be received with open arms by the people in the, the community because, again, of the denouncing and, you know, her teachings. It's like you lose kind of like the credibility in that, which is something that she's aware. So I see her kind of walking away from a lot of this. She still has a presence online. Uh, she still has a presence through social media. But I feel like there is this loneliness that she is now kind of feeling as she's gotten into, I don't know, this is her second or third year of, you know, kind of staying away from spirituality uh, and all of those teachings. Um, but again, I feel like she is um, going through a, a period of kind of soul searching for herself uh, and whatnot. And I don't feel like she has a lot of control now uh, with her, where she's at. I do feel like um, the religious group that she's involved in or the people that she's surrounded by, there is a lot of judgment from them about her, a lot of scrutiny. There's a lot of people in the religious community that maybe don't accept her or they still kind of hold her as someone that they can't fully trust or accept because, again, of where she stood once, which is in the spiritual world. So, again, it's like she's not accepted by um, spiritualists anymore. And she's not accepted fully by a lot of Christians, even though a lot of them do accept her. There's a lot of them that are kind of skeptical about her. So it's like, you know, she's damned if she does, damned if she doesn't. And that's kind of where she stands in the middle. Um, there is going to be a lot of, you know, things that are said about her. Um, the more that she comes out and becomes more vocal to against the new age or practices or the spiritual world, um, there's going to be a lot of more of bad things that kind of come towards her as just negative energy because, again, um, she is kind of, you know, attracting that negative energy. Uh, I do feel like there could be like some legal issues down the road um, that she would handle kind of, you know, under the table kind of between just herself keeping it more private with uh, it could be with, you know, um, some of the people that she had contracts with before, etc. But I do feel like there is some some legal issues that are coming through. Um, I don't feel like I said her partnership is going to be something that is very loyal. I do feel like her husband eventually is going to go into a different direction um, or her partner is going to go in a different direction leaving her kind of feeling empty and soul searching um in october this month uh, october is is definitely something uh, very a very powerful month for her i do feel like this is going to be a month this year where she may be finding herself again uh and going through some deep transformations uh, where she stands but when i look at her there is this feeling that she is going to come back into kind of uh spirituality at some point there's a possibility um, and kind of, you know, explain, you know, everything that, so it becomes more clear and apparent to people. Uh, like I said, a lot of people that would be tuning into this just don't understand sometimes that people go through something that's very dark. And again, it changes a person completely. Like when I went through my near death experience, it changed me completely in the aspect of what, how I saw life and etc. People that go through near death experiences, it changes them. People that have gone through possessions, uh, you know, they change completely. People who have had walk-ins, spiritual walk-ins, which is a spirit, you know, or an angel that walks into your body and, and kind of, you know, um, is there now. It, it changes you completely from, you know, who you were before. So um, this is my psychic reading on Doreen. Again, I feel like she is She's trying to follow her path, still trying to discover who she is as a person. Uh, I wish her all the best, and I feel sorry. I I apologize, you know, that, that she feels that way about spirituality. I will never change who I am or compromise who I am. And if I was to ever, you know, encounter something dark, I would fight it with all my might um, and still stay true to my roots. You know, it's easier said than done. But I do wish her all the best, and I hope that someday she can can realize that kind of the the damage and hurt that she is causing to the spiritual community um, with her, you know, coming out publicly and denouncing a lot of the New Age practices, etc. So uh, my best it goes towards you, Doreen. Uh, may God bless you and everything that you do. Can you, uh, if you also can, please find it in your heart to, uh, you know not bash the spiritual community as we are all a family we're all interconnected in this world 
Um, and so with that being said and done, I want to thank all of you, all of my family, YouTube family, for tuning into this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can go to my website. I do uh, regular readings for everyday people. Uh, that's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Uh, and I do have a sale going on until February 14th, 15% off. Just use promo code CUPID. That's a capital C-U-P-I-D for 15% off of any reading on my um, on my uh, website. So um, blessings and love and light to everyone. Thank you once again.